Hello everyone. Thank you for coming today and we are testing our sound and we'll start in a minute. So if you can hear us or see us, I guess if you can hear us, just type uh, a message that the sound is fine and we can start. And so yes, uh, but I've seen <laughs> see us online. <laughs> yeah, great, great. Sometimes it's difficult to to check, but looks like everything works. So and we have a confirmation on YouTube that the sound is okay. Yeah, great. So hello everyone again. So this is Bodan Maharos from Data Community United for Ukraine, and thank you for coming today. So today we have. Uh, our second day of the conference marathon that uh, takes um, three weeks, nine speakers all over the world. And all that is uh, about uh, business intelligence, Power BI, data science, and a lot of other interesting things and uh, not uh, technical things only. Let me show you this one. So uh, during the marathon, we are collecting funds for our uh, Ukrainian Marine units uh, who are defending our country everywhere. And uh, you know that Marines are working in uh, really hot places and in Kharkiv, in Kherson, where we can see like active liberation and uh, counteroffensive all over the front line. So our goal is a copter mattress M300 RTK, which costs a bit. It costs $14.5 thousand dollars. So you know that copters are the eyes of our defenders, right? And they are the most required things for our Marines and they need it now. So all donations are going directly into one of the largest Ukrainian charity funds a uh, foundation uh, called Come Back Alive that in Ukrainian we say Povrny Zhivim. So any, even minimal donation is uh, a large investment for our defenders who need to stay at the front line and uh, come back uh, home alive uh, once the war is over, right? And uh, let me show you this thing now. Uh, where is it? Things are a bit technically difficult. Mm. Yeah, this one. So uh, as I said, the conference takes are three weeks and all streams are scheduled, right? And uh, at our YouTube channel, so you can either subscribe to the channel or press notify button not to miss our events. Uh, um, even if you are watching us from LinkedIn or Facebook, so um, it's worth um, going to uh, YouTube and uh, press the button not to miss anything. So let's start our session. And before uh, introducing our speaker uh, i have to mention that today we have andrea melancia and we have uh, murillo miranda who are joining us today as co-hosts but you'll see them and you'll watch them uh, a bit later uh, the next week or the week after the next week so it depends so don't forget to subscribe to the channel or uh, not to miss them uh, Andrea, you were the first co-host who joined it today. A few <laughs> words about you, your turn. So, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to the second session. Uh, Bordan, thank you very much for organizing this and everyone uh, involved with organization of this. 
Uh, today we have an amazing, uh, crazy guy full of cats called Kataline. So the initial three letters are exactly the same. And he will show us how to use his cats with IoT. No, I'm kidding. IoT, yes, not cats. <laughs> and uh, Murilo uh, is, will join us uh, you know, next week or the week after. I need to confirm that. Uh, and Murilo is physically in Brazil. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm Brazil, and I think if I'm not wrong, my session will be next week on, on uh, Thursday. So be here, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Subscribe and notify. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we have Andre and the Murillo the next week. On uh, September the 21st, we have Andre. So he'll talk about machines are learning, and you should learn machine learning too and Azure story. And to tell you the truth, it will be a very interesting presentation. So I saw some slides and uh, it will be very interesting if you are learning data science or you want to learn or catch some basic things from data science at the beginning la uh, layer. So I'll, I will not tell anything more about that. And Murillo will talk about scaling multiple DBs, sharing resources with elastic pools. So as for me, it will be also very interesting. So sorry for interrupting you, but I had to do that. So uh, we are actually looking forward to Kathleen's session today. Uh, just to mention that everyone is in a different place. So I am physically in Portugal. I am in the almost western point, most point of Europe. Uh, Muriel is somewhere in the deep Brazil, so somewhere in the Amazon forest. Not that same Amazon. I mean the actual forest, not the store. And Kathleen is in Romania. Well, then you are in uh, again in the uh, in the uh, wildness. Let's say it's the wild something. It's it's uh, <laughs> almost as bad as Amazon or as good. <laughs> uh, so, uh, well then, where are you at this moment? Are you in Lviv? Yes, I am in Lviv, and uh, but today we had two or three. I don't remember already. Air alarms. So for those who are not from Ukraine and joining us today, let me tell you that our, we have air alarms outside are our buildings in the streets and if there is like a possibility of the um, um, uh, uh, rockets are going right to us so we have some like so it's very strange when you hear it the first time i mean air alarm so but sometimes you can hear it if your um, windows are closed so we have uh, some applications on a phone that starts alarming and it means um you should you have to be in in a safe place so uh i really hope that this situation changes in the future this is obviously no way for anyone to to live under these conditions but uh, in any case, uh, both uh, um, us in the European Union and everyone else around the world, uh, not just our data communities all around the world that are uh, hoping for the best in all of this, but uh, pretty much everyone around the world is hoping for uh, a good ending to all of the situation and uh, helping you uh, in the future also hopefully rebuild as well. Okay, so let's uh, let's have a look at Catalina's session without further delay and actually see just, just a question uh, i'm looking on uh, on my phone on the youtube stream and i have a blank screen okay. i see it working uh, no, no I yeah, see it now working. It's working. everything is fine yeah, yeah. okay so let's uh, share something yeah and let, let me tell you a few words so kathleen is uh, a solution architect from romania he is an mvp a trainer and a consultant founder and cto and lead solution architect so thank you everyone for coming today uh, thank you for your support and uh, uh, standing with us so thank you for introduction i'm also intel software innovator as far as i know but uh, okay so uh, let's uh, uh, move on uh, i do not have a lot of slides will be i will try to do demos so uh, we'll hope that the demos will uh, work sometimes because i'm using an azure tenant which is for demos uh, not everything fits together usually did the, the, this kind of uh, let's say uh, i don't remember the right uh, term it's used uh, 
uh, for these uh, tenants uh, um, uh, are the last uh, revived because we are not paying customers per se. So uh, what we're going to talk today, we're going to talk about stream analytics. So I will be uh, uh, try to show data professional what is stream analytics. Stream analytics is uh, to have uh, a full idea. It's developed by um, the team of um, data platform. The same people who are doing everything has moved from the from the IoT. And uh, okay, um, yeah, pretty much this is why I have two slides and I have some links. So uh, let's uh, let's move to something else. Let's move to uh, to give you a focal point because I've seen the slides. I did not do them right. So let, let's uh, show you my uh, Azure subscription. So and um, let's uh, start our story. Um, stream analytics is something that, based on some scripting, can send data from multiple uh, from inputs to multiple outputs. Uh, the core of this uh, service, it's an uh, SQL language. Okay, um, is very fast. Uh, what you need uh, to know more, it's uh, one of the few components which are, uh, as far as I know, real time as uh, computer real time in, in Azure. Uh, second, um, um, what it's uh, to know about stream analytics it has one big problem it has a very unpredictable pricing because you pay when you're running the job and also you pay by the by the ingress uh, messages um, passed to the system so um, that's not that simple uh, to calculate how much it's going to cost beforehand but let's um, um Let's try to show you, to create um, the first stream analytics. So if, for stream analytics, you can have something like uh, three types of uh, inputs. And uh, I will tell you that um, not uh, all inputs are that automatized. Uh, you have that much uh, services and that much help to create a stream analytics job. Let's uh, use the most, uh, which I already uh, tried, uh, the most uh, automatic, when you have all the facilities. This is even hubs. Okay. Uh, let's, let's create uh, one even hub. So uh, create. Okay, wait a minute. Let's, let's first share the screen. It's, it's not shared. No, you're not sharing anything. Okay, so let's confirm that ah, this is yeah, yeah. Sorry. So uh, it means that uh, I need to get back to the slides. Yes, now I'm seeing the sharing. <laughs> so uh, the slides were very complex. This uh, this is why I uh, and the, this one. And on the phone, and now I see that I don't share it because it's a delay. And this is the last. Yeah, I, I, we will somehow most probably get this information uh, to you uh later um so let's create the uh, uh first uh, we need to create a namespace for the even hub uh again one concept in azure which is an interesting it's a resource group, which it's a group the logical grouping and uh, i will give it a very good na uh, name uh for delete and to know uh, let's put it uh, uh also the to know what and let's give it a name uh, for delete name uh, a space. A resource group at the end, I will delete um, all the resource group, and this will delete all the resources inside it. So I can clean up very nicely uh, this pricing tier. For this, we can use uh, the basic. Anyhow, we do not need any new facilities. Next on the advanced, this we do not care networking tags review and create um, so this could create an event hub namespace what's an event hub because we're going to get back it's a queue it's a one directional queue so you are writing from anything and everything 
data into this queue and the other end somebody it's uh, it's reading the data so uh, okay let's do the create and uh, we have a bit of delays so okay if you are uh, uh, question uh, comments uh, here are not that that big usually these resources are uh, provisioned uh, quite fast uh, where it's a, a bigger uh, a delay and you'll see also practical when you start a job uh, of a stream analytic job there are bigger delays unfortunately um, this um, okay uh, i'm telling you it does not affect the functioning when the, the data start uh, start coming into queue it's real time really but uh, when you started you're expecting to get uh, data right away and ask yourself what's the problem <coughs> uh, sorry so uh, this is uh, still uh, uh, creating let's give it uh, a couple of seconds more <laughs> it always takes a long time yeah oh, so go to resource wonderfully so let's create a new Thanks. event hub uh, plus in hub okay review and create <clears throat> and create some space so uh, as far as i remember goes much faster so let's go on this uh, here um, uh, there is all uh, you have already uh, some support uh, doing stuff so it's it's not very uh let's say intuitively placed it's put on process that so here they show you where you can send that in Synapse SQL uh, and so on and so forth. And on the end, you have um, real time insights from events. Um, I, this is also misleading because Microsoft had the uh, last couple of years of product uh, uh, in uh, preview called Time Series Insights. So, uh, and now it's somehow this container deprecated stuff like this, uh, but, what I want to show you, if you really do not want to uh, bother yourself with uh, details, you can use this visual editor, blank canvas. Um, so let's let's give a name. That will create a Steam Analytics job. Uh, I'll put everything because I said before I'm uh, dropping uh, everything. Uh, afterwards so this again will take a bit and here you'll have a, a wonderful editor so you can um, but again here you can use as input only even half and you can put out the outputs are again not all of them and you can add the operation between them and this is let's say the visual editor i won't delve into it i'm just showing you that uh, if you really do not know how to start that would be in that look here getting back let, let's see how uh, how this experience looks so more normal so getting to this this is how it looks you have uh, your even hub and you need to define uh, an output and this uh, this is the query that governs uh, all this and this now will create uh, did not create you have here to create the stream analytic job so if you want to start and if you want to play with it to understand that will be a way but on the other hand said uh i'm coming from the it world and uh, i said okay let's um, let's uh, get a stream of data of something 
um, let's get it somewhere and move it to stream analytics because on this on this event hub sorry you have no data no data to run and let's uh, move the story from the uh, beginning let's get the data generated a long time ago uh, microsoft created uh, and this is still working no it stopped uh, this uh, website I mean, how it's on github i created this application uh, what is that uh, it's uh, simulating a uh, hardware that can be implemented real this uh, on the square stuff it's a bosch sensor for humidity and temperature and raspberry pi and this is arduino code running on raspberry pi and he reads the temperature and uh, the humidity and if the temperature is bigger than 30 degrees blink the lead and sends uh, also an alert besides the telemetry up in the cloud on this example what you can change is just the connection string of the device okay getting back to the dashboard so um, we talk about even hub um, there is something else called iot hub uh, what is the biggest difference as as, as it goes uh, the IoT hub has for each producer of data two queues, one for sending data, one for receiving data. This means that you know who, has, who send the data simply and also has a lot of other facilities. What's interesting for everybody is the up to now, the pricing of IoT hub, it's uh, very, very good compared to even hub and quite predictable. So you create a free resource of even hub because uh, the IoT hub, IoT hub has a free tier with the number of messages and uh, so, and you need to create a device. Uh, um, here, what again for a uh, say for a data database professional IoT hub, but as a cloud as a cloud queue make sense because of the pricing and because of the capability and what you need to understand that you have something like uh, two types of connection strings you have one connection string for administration of the iot hub and this is the uh, mistake that everybody does I, I do it every three presentation sessions i do i'm going for the connection string here and I uh, believe classic administration someplace. No, nope. I found uh, the connection string and uh, try it on a device. Of course, it does not work because this is for administration. You need to create a device. And uh, here I created a device. Here it's, let's say, this is simulated by, uh, and get one of the connection string and copy it here anyhow nothing else you can uh, uh, change in this uh, uh, in this example just that the connections you put it here and everything it's wonderfully you have now data flow you do not need to do nothing else in the IoT hub you, you just created the IoT hub create a device use the connections thing and put it there click 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 all on the free tier okay moving one uh, uh, step uh, you create a stream analytic job again click 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 and you have create but um, what you need to have you need to have inputs so first thing you create some inputs and then we stream stream so you have three times uh, three types of inputs event hub iot hub blob storage for our example, because we have our data generator, we picked IoT Hub. It goes by connections thing, everything is simple. Uh, let's uh, uh, configure some outputs. Uh, again, here the data, you can send it to multiple locations. One example that we are using in production is to send all data to the database and some interesting data, uh, let's say, to power bi for a aggregated and some uh, alarms uh, to a uh, um, queue to be sent to 
even grid to sand grid and so on and so forth. So you can have more. Okay, first, uh, first uh, um, tips and tricks. Again, I will need to move, have here a dashboard. Uh, when you create uh, a Power BI, it's usually uh, you created the free Power BI and you are going and you see that you need all these details uh, to uh, connect it. Because um, usually if it's the free one, you cannot have uh, um, uh, this uh, select Power BI from a subscription. You won't find it. But you try manually and you're trying the group's workspace and you are going uh, very nicely in your, where it is here. So you are going here in uh, Power BI, you're going to the admin portal and you are looking for workspaces. Uh, and you see that this is the uh, personal group and it's active, it's wonderfully. And you're looking at details and you are very, um, let's say, very happy that you find the ID. Now the question will be, I having, I'm having the uh, free Power BI. This will work. Um, usually in a normal presentation, I'll have chocolates to give you. Um, you have 50% chances of re replying correctly. I'll tell you it won't work. Uh, the history of uh, connecting to uh, a Power BI uh, from Steam Analytics, it's, uh, let's say, at first it worked with free. It was one moment when uh, the Power BI was not able to infer the structure of the messages uh, from uh, uh, um, Stream Analytics. And afterwards, um, it works only with Power BI Pro. So on Power BI Pro, you have the ID. Yeah. This ID, if you use, it will work. Uh, and... Uh, um, now it infer yet again um, uh, the data table um, structure. And that was, uh, let's say, uh, an annoyance. So here you just say data set name and a table name and from the uh, data received, um, the stream analytics was capable and is now yet again capable of creating the right structure of table. Uh, in between uh, this, we can, uh, you cannot edit the namespace name and uh, stuff like this. You just uh, can do renew authorization, which if you do not use the demos like I, I'm, I'm doing, uh, you need from time to time because it expire. And pretty much uh, this is it. Uh, what else can have come, like output? Data Explorer, a function, Synapse Analytics, Blob Storage, Cosmos. Even PostgreSQL as a database, service bus queue, topic, SQL database, table storage, uh, a lot of outputs. I've created uh, another, uh, let's say, service bus queue and an application that uh, reads that uh, service bus queue. That much, uh, again, uh, here it's not much, much knowledge. Let's see the queries in between. Wonderful. So let's try a refresh and let's see what's happening. So I put here two queries. Uh, you can have more than one, I'll send. We select everything in Power BI and we select everything in a service bus queue. So uh, let's uh, start getting to some data. Uh, you know, the job, it's not running. So uh, let's double check, it's number one. So this we can close and uh, you see here that uh, compared to even hub uh, here, because we already have defined an input, we have already have uh, something else. Uh, you can preview this and also you see how it looks. Um, there is another interesting st stuff. You can create a function, function for manipulating data in JavaScript or in C-sharp. So you can do aggregators. We'll, we'll talk uh, 
a bit later more in details in uh, um, what is what is and what are the capabilities of the SQL running this. But for now, let's uh, just look. And also we can test. So uh, we can test what will happen to one output, what will happen to another output to the data we received already. Also, you can have a stream of data for uh, uh, for testing. You can have a separate uh, input. You can uh, uh, you can upload it here. Upload the sample in. This will be independent of what what uh, you are receiving now from the um, from the uh, input now, which is an IoT hub. Let's start the job. This will take some time. And uh, start. And let us look a bit in the Power BI because here will be, um, this will take a bit of time. I've created here a simple, um, uh, very simple report. Uh, what you see here, uh, it's uh, that uh, um, I did not use this demo running. So you see, when I use this presentation, uh, you have the data. When not, it's a line. So let's see the latest data. Focus uh, We are somehow, um, you see that right today. And uh, again, I need to get rid of this bit and refresh it a bit. It will take some time until the data, uh, data is not lost, but uh, uh, to get from the fast system, uh, get first to get to the stream analytics, they process, process very fast, but moved again uh, through uh, Power BI, which has uh, that refreshes, uh, it takes time. And also we can double check here. And you see here on the other output, we have data. And let's let us double check. It's eighty-eight, the message ID, and it's uh, here. It's where nine ninety-five. It's a bit of delay. Now well, it's something like two messages. And again, these are queues. So um, let us look yet again in Power BI. Um, And here, some refresh. And see what's happening. So where now you see our, we are 432 and we, we were something like, uh, uh, 2.31. And unfortunately, okay, let's let's start with visual, which is uh, temperature uh, in the bit of click. And if we're trying to, uh, pretty much in this, this very small unit of time are all that. And uh, a very mind that Power BI has also some limit on which uh, uh, delete all data, but I did not hit it. You see that uh, I'm November 2029. Yes, I, uh, this was created before. The data before was deleted. And I use it in uh, March. And, and now again, this uh, sample. Uh, getting back, uh, let's, uh, in the interest of time, uh, get here and stop, stop this and start talking about what I was showing you um, about uh, stream analytics query language reference. Uh, we, we've seen the query. Uh, I will do here a small parenthesis. Uh, um, these again are accurate, but they are very, very late till now. So getting back to the query, which is um, here, and still we're fighting with the um, demo goals. Uh, this is something like an SQL. 
Uh, what is the biggest, um, let's say, difference of the first first glance? Glimpse? It's that um, um, we are not having the syntactic sugar to have select from into. We are uh, like the old style. I don't understand why, but yeah. Second thing, you have a lot of stuff, but this is not the full surface of DSPL, by no means. Uh, what interesting stuff you have there, it's uh, you have a lot of windowing functions. You can look and aggregate data in the past. Uh, so the, uh, now, uh, since uh, we're talking about data platform, you can uh, um, even work a bit on the uh, uh, what it means events that are not in order. But I, I being in the IoT field, I do not touch this. So generally, it's uh, assumed that the events are in order, and you can look back. And you have a, a number of functions to uh, to do this. Uh, and let's try, let's uh, strike queries, something like this. Let's do a tumbling window. And let's first uh, show you graphically. Uh, just a second to get uh, uh, some uh, windowing function. This is how a tumbling window it's it's uh, working. And we we have hopping window, we have sliding window, we have all, all this. So we want to do a query um, that um, will uh, make the sum of uh, temperature in the, the last 10 seconds. And let's see how, how this uh, will work. Uh, getting back to uh, here and to the query, uh, do a refresh. So. Let's put a space. It's not. It's not relevant. Um, now, so we can um, have input preview, and uh, we can, if we click on this, and click on test. Let's see how the stuff would work. We having this number as a result for uh, the input data which was cached from before. Let's see it in the real world. So let's let's start the job and uh, okay. Let's first save, save the query and uh, start. Uh, okay, do a refresh and start, and then look at this application. Um, uh, yeah, the output um, here. This is a simple uh, C sharp application. I'm saying from the last weeks that I, I will put this application on the GitHub. It's a very simple, just re re reading an event, uh, uh, not an event, uh, a service bus, and does not do any, any smart processing. As you see, the data is looking like, like uh, I will use a word which we start with uh, and uh, end on it, but, uh, still, uh, you got the idea. And now I need to wait a bit. Again, data is not lost. Uh, again, we need to click more. I'm still fighting. I'm having here some, some windows from the Zoom, which uh, I will blame them that I do not see they I need to click. Uh, there is a bit of delay. Okay, another stuff. This uh, application uh, is pretty old and start uh, crashing from time to time. You need to check if it's still sending data. Uh, okay, and getting back to and to that. So uh, what I um, show you here is how to create a um, test rig for your queries and um, stuff like this, how you can uh, try uh, interesting queries in uh, IoT Hub without uh, writing a lot of code. Uh, to create all this infrastructure, it takes uh, the best part of 15 minutes, even if you are not know, uh, doing what you are knowing what you are doing. 
and uh, I'm planning because also the company I'm working with, um, I'm doing some trainings on top of it. I'm planning to create uh, IRM scripts to create all this. So now it's started. You see that you have uh, uh, a number of messages. Again, nothing is uh, lost here. Everything is in a queue. So when I started, I start reading everything from the queue. And you see uh, all this. Uh, let uh, first stop the job. And look a bit, uh, now say, well, we're jumping directly to uh, uh, windowing function, but let's see what uh, what else we, we have here as language. So we're having a lot of stuff, apply, cas, uh, case, collections, uh, create table from group by having match recognized, uh, union where, with, and uh, this pretty much this is it. What? if you are missing something an operator an aggregator i said you can write this in javascript or in c sharp which is still better uh, so let's uh, try a next uh, what you have something uh, like uh, okay, let's, let's do not delete it and uh, try this one also yet again uh, uh, try the errors and let's see if we are allowed so we are looking for device name like raspberry pi if we are looking here we are having raspberry pi web client as the device name i'm getting back to it let's see if we are want let's test the query So we are having all the data. Um, again, in the interest of time, we can um, play also in the test grid. Let's see square. This is uh, showing something more, uh, more elaborate. Uh, something like if the temperature is bigger than 24 um, we create a string um, we want to say that it's hot otherwise it's warm and we put this out let's see what's happening so uh, here it's display the temperature and uh, temperature it's converted as text and also this text and you see that uh, the temperature it's uh, less than 24 it's warm otherwise it's hot so uh, let's see what else we have here interest um, and Let's, let's try this one also live. Not that it will function uh, differently uh, than uh, the test, but okay. We'll see on live data. What is doing this? It's counting and it's doing this thing. No, I do not want to, only different value. It's doing the ceiling. It's casting temperature as big int. And it's uh, displaying the, uh, the result as hot count. And it's, uh, we're talking about the last data in the last minute. So let's save the query and uh, uh, start the, the job as now. And look in doubt. In the meantime, let's. Uh, get rid of some of those three four and wait until we, we got the output and uh, talking uh, until we get some output 
and I'm still trying to uh, get to the next uh, window. Um, uh, again, uh, in the help, you have the all information that it is. Um, it, they tell you how to send data to the multiple uh, outputs that uh, you have seen, what the data uh, type are, and some sub query samples are not that deep. But again, if you are the database professional, you'll be able to uh, get around them. Um, and uh, here you see also some different query they did. Uh, you see, again, more what is supported. Now we, we played a bit with this one. And you still have system timestamp, fumbling window, and so on and so forth. Now, again, it's, it's pretty powerful, the use of the SQL. Now, I've talked recently with somebody who wanted to implement something similarly, and uh, they insisted on in, um, using Python. And when they saw stream analytics, they were okay. This uh, somehow makes sense because um, um, compared to Python, uh, SQL, it's uh, maybe a more straightforward uh, uh, language for, especially when uh, we're looking with uh, data. Um, what would be an idea? It would be also that uh, beside JavaScript, when you try to do a measure, some other processing uh, to have also Python available. Well, let's let's see what's happening. This is starting, still starting. Something like three minutes. So it's it's taking the uh, it's time. And let let us still look now and let's double check if we are still sending data. Yes, we're still sending data. And get back. So and now uh, it's starting. Uh, you see, on the you see in the last three minutes, when the moment we clicked, if you remember, uh, when we look here, it was uh, three minutes ago when it was safe settings, and uh, the job started a few seconds. So the data was not lost during the. Uh, power up time the data was still there and it was processed when the service got gone uh, up so uh, on the last minute it was uh, the hot count was five but and now we passed another minute and we have the hot, hot, hot count which is seven let's uh, I did forget what we're counting let's see um, yeah how many distinct temperatures we had in the last minute. So in the last minute, we have something like seven uh, uh, distinct temperature. And uh, uh, because of the ceiling, this means that uh, the number was rounded. Because otherwise, if you are looking uh, here, you see there are no two temperatures. But when we round this, you can have uh, in one minute, a number of uh, equal temperatures, because we can have a lot of 24, 22, and so on and so forth. Um, Let us uh, look yet again in Power BI, because it's still here. And let's do a refresh and let's see what's happening. If we have better chance to see more data. Uh, we have it still more, but still in the same time interval. So, but getting back to, uh, interest rate getting to the if we are looking on this one focus mode uh, we are seeing that uh, we are something like 449 um, this again as far as I know it's UTC uh, and this because it's the uh, in queue time it's UT, UTC so uh, we are something like um, the MT plus 3 in my case my computer time 749 so here is 449 uh, 
Um, you can put also your own time stamp, but that's another story. So let's stop the query and try something else. Um, let's see the next one. Hell, lag. Um, so with lag, we are looking one even back. And if the temperature is different, we output the last one. Uh, lag, it's a, a pretty difficult concept. At least you see it was for me. And this, I believe that merits uh, uh, to try this query as the, as life. So again, this is a, a special kind of windowing. Uh, we are going a numbering events. We are not going by seconds or by minutes. We are just going by events. It doesn't matter that the event was that much time ago. In fact, it matters. Uh, it matters because the queues are uh, reused. It means they are deleted up to a time. The time is something on the level of months. It depends. But as a principle, I look back into uh, one event uh, in the past. And getting back, let's, let's go to the edit query. And get rid of this. Let's see what's happening to this. Let's do save. And let's do a run. In fact, stop and see what's happened. You see here that uh, we spend on the subject, uh, this subject, something like six minutes altogether. And again, I need to click uh, start. Um, what again I must emphasize um, here uh, you need to test with real data how much you're gonna spend. It's uh, no it's not the easiest calculation to make beforehand, especially when you have a lot of data. So here it's uh, let's say you can have surprises. <laughs> not the on the other hand, it's uh, one of the most interesting um, tools out there. I'll say uh, IoT Hub for me as a surprise, the pricing model, which is absolutely strange because you can have events without paying because there is a limit, a free limit of, I do not know, one device and a number of messages, which for some uh, software processes are absolutely okay. You can use it for free. And the stream analytics, the power of it uh, goes uh, very well. Um, to give you a scenario, I'll give like that the scenario that was an initial documentation from the uh, uh, Microsoft, um, which it was um, using just stream analytics. You can get an alert if your credit card was used um, in less than uh, uh, five minutes, a distance more than 20 kilometers or 10 miles or whatever. And this you can do with a simple query and two queues. And again, you see uh, uh, this, it's uh, working and again, had the display all the data until I, uh, from the moment I clicked, nothing was lost, but you have that uh, push. And since we are almost on timeless files so the, the last query, which is, uh, Again, the method, it's uh, something like it's first. And again, uh, we need to stop this. Today, the demo gods were uh, good to me. It uh, almost or work anything and everything. Um, and let's uh, put this gray. Okay, this we... And I remember the term, the sponsored uh, uh, tenants are the last one to be uh, let's say, uh, updated and uh, restored. <clears throat> um, so 
here it did not uh, yet finish uh, uh, stopping the stream and does not let you um, uh, edit. And now uh, won't let us also because the window does not fill yet uh, this. And we need to go to another window. And we get back, refresh, refresh, and pretty much. And now we can do this. Save it. So overview. Again, here it will, uh, the window still thinks that uh, the job is run. It's not. So let's start. Start now. Well, uh, again, look, we have, oh, sorry. I'm uh, uh, Let's let me share again. Because it's uh, what, I, what I have done. Um, no worries, it happens. So please share and we'll confirm it works. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. No, see the, 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 uh, so it's just next to chat so on the right of chats i, I click on on you and i have your just your uh ah, exit minimize way okay it wasn't me whatever it is it wasn't me, me. <laughs> yeah but I, I i click on i your icon this is uh you are you are you are the guilty party so uh getting okay. back uh, um, let's see. Yeah. Um, we still don't see it on the streaming, but we do see it on the meeting. So please continue. Should be fine. Should be fine. <laughs> so, um, if we are looking at edit um, here on the, uh, you see the pad done or the, the summarization. You need to edit the model and say do not summarize. I did this uh, before. Uh, you know, if you're a database professional working for BI, this is the, that propensity to each number to summarize, to do average, to do stuff like this. This was like an, uh, let's say, side note. Let us uh, check what's happening here. Still, this is uh, uh, started. Start. So, most probably, this should be the output. Let's see. Let's double check what 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 it should have been. So it seems this is the output. Uh, what is displayed? Display the first message in the uh, in the main. That's five minutes. So, uh, so pretty much uh, these uh, are the uh, demos and uh, we have something like two minutes if you have questions if you want something to uh, dwell on uh, more today I have a feeling that uh, will work it, it's a good day for science <laughs> for once and yeah. I didn't touch anything yeah Catalina a question so uh, sometimes it happens that uh, a query is stacking. So what are the uh, points where uh, a developer can take a look to find the reason why the query uh, like uh, uh, stacks and uh, it's not running any results? So I guess there are a lot of options starting with uh, data centers where uh, it's located and uh, any uh, other no, I would say if uh, this query stacks, uh, you uh, you have uh, first you click on this one, and this is fetching data if you have it. If you do not have it, uh, try to have a sample input for some place, and you upload the the JSON. Click the JSON is the format of the file. So here you have the data from the input, and then you now you can click on one of the outputs. So let's click on this one, and then we we'll click test query. And we we'll see what's happening. Uh, here you will get out on a timeout or something. This is, I tested this one, which is select everything. And let's test the other one. This is again tested. When I click, they test them both, but displays only one. So I'm, I'm having uh, how the output should look. So this is the debugging techniques. And now it's uh, 
pretty good before you had nothing like this you have only doubt um, input uh, of the uh, this sample input and also uh, helping you to create if you want to create aggregation javascript uh, this uh, row it shows you how the messages are really looking and uh, how to um, what to use to process them and uh, in fact uh, you are able to take them out and try to process them in some place that you can run step by step debug and stuff like this i answered the question or uh... yeah so the main point is like what what the developer can start from yeah right from doing here. the deep dive into that uh, from here from the test query and uh, as you've seen in the failed uh, presentation last time uh, when i click it here on this if we're looking at input preview uh, because it was a problem with the tenant i did not change anything i did not get the data from it also it, because the problem was with it wasn't anything in the code how did how i did know that i had no problem with the input or output if you are looking at the inputs uh, you have here this and this is a test so you can test an input you can test an output there is a functionality to test if this works say okay we are having good connection everything is hunky dory to connect to this i again put good connection to this okay let's look at the query if also the query works uh yeah it means that uh, you are in the uh you're having uh, issues usually um, the query won't work or uh, let us uh, check because you did it wrong or also you see testing the or it happens um, like it happened in that presentation when you click the input you get no data you get a timeout you get an error message even though the test was successful so then it's your not your problem it's something but again i said because i'm on a sponsored subscription this could happen to me so you see here fetching events from my github because i'm selecting this and you see this now it's getting the data for the to run test and when you see it it means that okay everything is good here and i can do a test query and it runs all the queries and when i click on them i see the outputs so practically these are the testing options that you may have debugging options you have not much but quite better than before and really usable for me did not answer yet again a question looking at you <laughs> yeah yeah so our, uh, we are out of our time uh if you stop sharing your screen we can see everyone here yep so okay. uh ricardo cabral also joined us so hello ricardo yeah hello uh so you'll see ricardo the next weeks are uh, the no not yeah. the next uh, the next day tomorrow we'll see yeah. ricardo cabral with power apps and the on-premises data gateway so it will be an interesting session so join us tomorrow and on our youtube channel uh you can find uh, uh all sessions that are scheduled so it means uh it means you can uh press the notify button or um just subscribe to the channel not to miss our events you can also see us in our facebook and uh, uh, linkedin so but the best way is to, to join us uh via uh, youtube uh so to have the the full experience of this chat and uh, other things so um thank you everyone who joined us today thank you for uh, Kathleen. thank you for this session it was amazing and uh, uh andrea muriel ricardo thank you for joining us today and uh, supporting this stream uh, sharing the event. So all that is very important today for Ukraine, for the country that live a normal life and someone just 
are invaded the country and decided to kill you just because you exist. So it's terrible in 21st uh, century, but uh, we all were thinking that we are living in a uh, in normal world that lives according to some rules, but the history repeats. So the history always repeats and we see it uh, when it happens. Um, thank you everyone. If you want to say something at the end, welcome. So, Ricardo, would you like to give us a teaser of your session tomorrow? Which will be the first time. <laughs> okay, uh, a, a small teaser basically is about Power Apps, it is a service from Power Platform. Then I'm going to get data from on premise, and that's it. <laughs> so, maybe we can interact those Power Apps with IoT from Catalin. By the way, I'm saying this, but this is possible. <laughs> uh, I'm joking, but this is possible. Catalina saying yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Yeah, all speakers that participate in our our streams, so you can join it at any stream. So I can I can just share the link to Zoom with uh, everyone, and you can join, and we can make some uh, common sessions. Uh, asking questions and make everything more interactive. And by the way, uh, in the uh, description of the YouTube stream, there is a link to even bright registration. So if you go uh, through the link and register, you have a chance to win some prizes that I'm not announcing now, but it's some kind of surprise. Uh, so I will, I will, I will not tell you more about that. But feel free to register. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming today. Uh, I was uh, very glad to host you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank, right, you, very much. tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.